You're also a hypnosis instructor. Yes. In your opinion, what makes a good instructor? Well, first you have to know what you're doing as a hypnotist. And so I think the main characteristic I would look for in an instructor is, is this a person that's in a regular practice? Do they regularly see clients? Do they, do they work with clients? Do they know what they, they're doing? Are they successful with clients? Okay. So that would be the major characteristic. I would also like someone who has sort of a theoretical orientation or an understanding of, of how the process works. It could be any theoretical orientation. I'm an Ericksonian. I know you work from the Dave Elman perspective more. Um, there are a lot of different approaches, but you need to understand how things are, are supposed to work and how in theory and in principle it works so that you can build from that and learn from it and begin to work from a basis, not just sort of taking a random process here and a random process there. And then, of course, I think it's very important if you're a student and you're looking for a hypnosis instructor, um, just like a client looking for a hypnotist, it's important to find a person that you can connect with emotionally. When you sit down and you talk to the person, you feel like, oh, this is someone that I can relate to, that I can learn from, and there's that emotional connection. I feel that's very important for this process. The emotional rapport and connection that's in the process is critical, and so... Um, that would be something I would look for in an instructor. Can, can I connect with this person? Okay, thank you.